Alright, welcome back to another album review here upon the old YouTube channel. Welcome to the 15th installment in the Judas Priest review series. Leading up to the 50th anniversary of their debut album, Rockerola, I've been reviewing every single one of their albums, and I plan on ranking all 19 of them on that anniversary day. In today's installment, as y'all can tell by the title, we'll be looking at their 15th album, Angel of Retribution, from 2005. Gonna be giving y'all all of my thoughts on this album, and before we get started, y'all be sure to drop your thoughts on it down in the comments below. I'm sure we'll all have very different opinions and perspectives, but that is the fun part about making these videos, seeing everybody's different takes. So, with that out of the way, let's jump straight into it. So the two albums that came out before this, of course, are the two albums with Tim Ripper Owens, definitely the two Black Sheep albums of Judas Priest discography, and two albums that are very not well received. You know, they had a mega mega high with Painkiller, had those two albums which weren't received well at all. And now at this point, Rob Halford is back in the band, so of course everybody back in the day I'm sure was very excited. And to me, this album is a perfect continuation of what I think they would have done right after Painkiller. In an interview, Rob Halford pretty much stated that. He said that once the band got back together, material flowed, you know, just like natural like it ever did when they were writing for this album. And he said himself this would have been pretty much similar what they would have done after Painkiller. So, you know, I think if they, you know, took a long break in between Painkiller and this album, or stay together and put this album uh, right after Painkiller, their discography as a whole might be well uh, more received if you didn't have those two uh, Tim Ripper Owens albums right in the middle. But it's a good thing we ended up getting Halford back in the band and this album even coming out in the first place. And my thoughts on it, I think it's a pretty good album. It's probably not in my top five albums by them, but I would, I would definitely see it making my top ten for sure. Has some really good songs like Judas Rising, Revolution, Hell Rider. You have Angel on here, which is one of their best uh, ballady type songs. The only song off of here that I really don't care for all that much is Loch Ness. It's 13 minutes long, I think. It is way too long. You know, does not need to be that long at all. Could definitely be a lot shorter. If it was, you know, like four minutes long or something like that, I'd like it substantially a lot better. I forget what magazine, but some, you know, magazine, classic rock something or something when I was reading on Wikipedia, dropped this down dramatically in their rating just because of the track Lockness, which, you know, I don't like it either. I don't think it hurts the album that bad because it's the last song on the album. So you can listen to the nine songs before uh, this one and then turn the album off. And, you know, act as it without that song on the album in the first place. But I think the performances are pretty good. You pretty much have the same lineup since Painkiller, but just with Rob Halford coming back. So, of course, Glenn Tipton and K.K. Downing, Ian Hill, and Scott Travis, which is probably the best Judas Priest lineup we've had, in my opinion. Or maybe the Dave Holland uh, era was also pretty good. But uh, overall, I think all the performances are great. Halford's vocal sounds great. All the rest of the musicians in the band sound really great. Just overall, an album with some really good songs and really good performances and pretty much a good comeback album for them. They've had uh, quite a few comeback albums, uh, the two most notably being this and Painkiller, but at least we got both of them. Both of those albums are great and some of the best albums this band have put out. And you know, good fame that Halford is still in the band and the rest of the guys are still in the band for the most part. KK isn't anymore, but the rest of them are. And uh, yeah. Angel of Retribution is a really good album in my opinion. I really like it quite a bit. Y'all be sure to drop your thoughts on it down in the comments below. I would really love to see y'all's. So those are going to be all of my thoughts on Angel of Retribution by Judas Priest. If you enjoyed this review, please consider subscribing to the ZT channel and giving the video a like. I would highly appreciate the support quite a bit. Be sure to check out my Judas Priest review series playlist if you haven't caught up on any of the other reviews. Definitely encourage you to do so because if you like this one, you'll definitely like the rest of them. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram down below in the description, and I'll have a link to where you can go stream my original music on all streaming platforms. I got four songs out right now. So, once you're done watching, blast Angel of Retribution as loud as you can, and have a wicked-ass day.